Here comes the quarterback, Burrow, looking for a block, and he got it up on the front by Hopkins into the end zone. Touchdown! What a scamper! The Millionaire Lifestyle of Joe Burrow The 2020 NFL Draft's first selections had a solid first season, but played great in his second season. He was the NFL's completion percentage leader and was the top quarterback snub for the Pro Bowl according to The Athletic. As his season was great, it's worth looking into how that has had an impact on his personal life. Today we'll be talking about the millionaire lifestyle of Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow's net worth in 2022 is $1 million. This is according to multiple sources including Wikibio Worth. As explained in the beginning, the Bengals quarterback has been instrumental for Cincinnati to come back to the playoffs. The Bengals last made the postseason in 2015 and just his second season, his 4,611 passing yards with 8.9 yards per pass and 70.4% passing accuracy got the Bengals where they needed to be. Still, before the season is taken into consideration, it is important to look at Burroughs' path to the NFL. He was born in Ames, Iowa in December of 1996. Interestingly enough, his father was Jim Burrow, former Canadian Football League defensive back who briefly played for the Packers in 1976. After his career as a defensive back in Canada, Jim Burrow started his coaching career. From 1981 until 2018, Joe's father was involved with coaching positions at many universities around the US, most notably Nebraska, Ohio, and North Dakota State. Since his father was the assistant coach at the Ames High School, Joe Burrow was born and raised right there in 2002 as his dad relocated to Nebraska to be an assistant coach. Burrow was able to attend the Rose Bowl, which Miami won. His football career started in Ohio as his father was defensive coordinator for the Ohio Bobcats. It started in 2011 and it was at Athens High School. Due to his immense record playing for this high school, they even renamed their football stadium in his name in 2019. After finishing high school, Burrow committed to Ohio State as a four-star recruit. He redshirted his first season, and the next two seasons with the Buckeyes are not worth a huge mention. He was playing backup to J.D. Barrett and after he left for the NFL draft. The Buckeyes chose Dwayne Haskin to be their next starting quarterback, which was not beneficial for Burrow. He decided to switch schools and chose Louisiana State University, where he would be the starter. His two-year stint at LSU was what brought him to the highest positions in the 2020 NFL Draft. In his first season playing for the Tigers, Burrow and his squad finished 10-3, won the Fiesta Bowl, and earned a sixth spot in the AP Bowl. Going into next season, not many expected the Tigers to have such a great result. In his final college season, Burrow led his LSU teammates to a 15-0 record, including a national championship game win against Clemson. That was their first win in the college football playoffs era and the first one since 2008 when they won against Ohio State. After the success and the various individual trophies such as Heisman Trophy, Lombardi Award and Manning Award, to name a few, it was time for the leap to the professional league. He was selected first by the Cincinnati Bengals and was the only rookie to start the first week. After 10 weeks of football without much success, in a Week 11 game against the Washington football team, Burrow tore his ACL and MCL in his left knee. Due to this, his season was stopped. Since he successfully recovered in time for the next season, Burrow was once again the starting quarterback for the Bengals when the 2021 season started. However, after a 2-7-1 season behind him, Burrow was exceptional. He led the Bengals to a 10-6 record, enough for first spot in the AFC North and a meeting with the Las Vegas Raiders in the Wild Card playoffs. Burrow had a great impact on this season and was generally a great player for the Bengals this season. When it comes to his net worth, however, most of it comes from his contract. He penned a four-year, $36 million deal with the Bengals as soon as he got drafted. Most of the money is earned through signing bonuses and his base salary is around $2.2 million for this season. In terms of other incomes, Burrow is involved with many brands. His famous deal is with Nike, but Burrow also has two major deals. One is with the headphone making company Bose and the other with the online retailer Fanatics. The financial details of these deals are not available around, but they sure fill the pockets of this upcoming quarterback. House in Athens 
While most newly drafted NFL players dish out their first million or two on a shiny new mansions or luxury home, that's definitely not the case for our boy Burrow. In fact, the Cincinnati Bengals quarterback is still living with his parents in the Burrow family home back in Athens County, Ohio. The residence, located on a cul-de-sac in the plains, is a 2,661-square-foot single-family home boasting four bedrooms and 2.4 bathrooms. The 0.3-acre lot offers just enough room for Joe and the fam to toss a football around or enjoy a backyard picnic. Joe occasionally posts photos from the home via Instagram, giving fans a tiny glimpse into his day-to-day -day life at home. Rumor has it his room is still Star Wars theme. According to property records, the Burroughs purchased the home in March 2005 for $240,000. The residence has an estimated value of $300,000 as of 2021. So, will there be a Joe Burrow house Cincinnati in the near future? It's difficult to say currently, but VR will be there to deliver all the deeds if Burrow decided to buy in Queen City. So, this brings us to the conclusions of today's video. Let us know how you liked the video on the millionaire lifestyle of Joe Burrow in the comment below. Till then, hope to see you in another video.